Okay, so you are going to work with the Pathfinder tool this time. This lets you make more complex shapes by adding, subtracting, um, dividing shapes together. So all of these over here can be used just using your basic shape tool and maybe a couple lines and your Pathfinder. So that's a very important uh, window to have up, your Pathfinder tool. If you look, this allows you to add, subtract, intersect, exclude and there's also some functions down here the one we will use today is divide as well so these ones are all important divides pretty useful as, um, as well the way it works you can add shapes together so let's say I have two shapes that I want to combine to get a more complex look for instance two circles I wanted to put these two together Right now it's two separate shapes, so if I change one color, it only allows me to adjust one part of it. If I want to combine all this together, I use my Unite button, and that makes your shape into one piece. The same thing can go with an additional object. You can subtract away. So I could take a rectangle out of the inside of the shape. Whatever's on top is what we'll be subtracting as well. So you can adjust the arrangement of things by hitting... Um, the right click button and you can arrange this way there's also some shortcuts for it so the black rectangles on top right now if I select both of these objects both have to be selected I can subtract away this piece of black rectangle from the bottom shape so I can subtract as well another cool feature is the divide option so if you have let's say a line going through a shape like this I can divide this into two separate pieces and I can just keep one of those so now if I use my direct selection tool I can split these up so I have two different parts they can be colored individually you can delete one if you say let's I, I just want that bottom piece now that I made what I want it's kind of a nice feature you also have an intersection button. So if you want to make this piece in the middle here and you want to get rid of all the excess parts, intersect. Leaves you with this shape. Along with that, you'll see some additional colors being used and patterns. Don't forget that you have a whole bunch of preset swatches, default colors that you can switch. You want to try to match the colors, but you also have some other categories on here. You have gradients, which allow you to get a blend of colors together. Um, and even more so, you have patterns as well. So patterns, there's a bunch of different preset categories, animal skins. That should be what you need to create your Pathfinder shapes. Remember to make sure these shapes are fully um, added or subtracted together. You don't want to have bits and pieces. Everything that you see on the screen is all made up of one piece. All these shapes are one part. Good luck.